Welcome back to Diddly Squad Gaming, where today we are in SnowRunner, and we are just at the entrance to Amandra. <clears throat> and I'm I'm at a dilemma because I really want to get this uh, last piece of uh, wood. In fact, I'm I'm a little nervous because I just realized that for some reason. Okay, good. Uh, it wasn't tracking. I don't know why it's not tracking the our, our previous uh, attempt at repairing the power lines. Uh, but the good news is, is it's still registering that we uh, completed one of the tasks. So uh, if you remember, and you probably do, we got stuck here. I probably should have tried this path, especially after looking at this path and knowing that there was a tree here that we've got uh, stuck on. Somehow we got around these trees. I, I honestly don't know how. I think we glitched through them. Uh, but yeah, I probably should have tried this path. There at least would have been more options, although it looks pretty. It looks pretty blocked off, too. Uh, we might have been able to squeeze through somewhere. Uh, it looks like you should be able to squeeze through just because of the way the river is shallow here. I'm hoping this sh this is completely shallow. I mean, maybe that's maybe that's our best bet is to to come through this way, and then just simply go up here and and that way, or maybe even have to come around here and up this way, uh, or possibly up this way. I mean, there's there's a couple different ways you could go, uh, but I would not recommend going this way. Uh, yeah, I I would I should have turned around, came back out here, and then came down here. But unfortunately, that's the joys of hindsight. And so my dilemma today, uh, thanks to EJ, I now know that the all wheel drive is somewhere over here. Apparently this, once we uncover this, this area here, I believe is a, looks like a racetrack or it's an oval shape. Uh, we could, we can attempt to go that way to get the upgrade just to, uh, just to get it because I, I really want to try this all-wheel drive uh, twin steer. I don't know if it would work great on this map. It probably won't uh, just because of the sheer length of the truck, but it, it may. Who knows? We, we I don't know. I've, I've never been able to drive that truck with all-wheel drive and it's been something I've wanted ever since I found the truck back in, uh, I believe it was Michigan. Uh, what was it? It wasn't Smithville Dam. It was the, the other one after Smithville Dam. Uh, I can't think of it right now. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I, I think though I want to get this garage unlocked because once I get the garage unlocked, that's going to save so much time. I think it took me almost a half an hour to drive these two trucks from the garage back in uh, COVID Lake. So let's go. Let's get uh, underway. I'm, I'm probably wasted too much time as it is fire up our trucks. We should have plenty enough gas to get to the fuel tanker at the airbase. So uh, yeah, let's get things rolling. I, I'm going to have to wait on the all-wheel drive, I think. The more the more I talked about it out loud, the more I realized, yeah, it's just going to have to wait. Um, I really, I really, really, really want that garage unlocked. So um, and yeah, I, I've gotten a few comments saying how you should just have to drive past the garage and it magically opens up. And I have a feeling they uh, they nerfed that or uh, they changed it. Wow, we're uh, practically stuck. Maybe I should turn the, uh, the dairy's engine on. And I do have to apologize. I do still have somewhat of a cold. Um, the sore throat's gone, so I can actually do this now. Uh, but I do still have the, the runny nose and the cough, so... Uh, it's just, it's one of those colds that just doesn't want to, uh, to go away, so... Unfortunately, I will try to mute the mic as best as I can, or turn away from it. Hopefully the, uh, the, uh, filter will, will block out my coughing, so it's not too annoying, but... You probably will hear me sniffle from time to time, so uh, just just be warned. 
And uh, while you're being warned, you might as well go ahead and hit the, uh, the like button and the subscribe button. Uh, because I was checking out my stats the other day and I actually have enough hours of view time to actually surpass the, the thousand member uh, mark, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much for that. Um, but unfortunately, I'm still stuck at the 255 subscribers right now. Um, so I haven't even made the first, uh, the mark yet. So, uh, am I, ooh, I forgot to turn off. I'm kind of going the way I didn't want to go, uh, because I was too busy talking. So let's, let's back this up. We got to go. Yep. We got to, we got to turn left here. Which I guess the dairy is just going to do that. <laughs> That's okay. We'll fix it. Come on, dairy. You can, uh, straighten out, but, uh. Yeah, so anyways, I uh, really would like to get that uh, subscriber number up a little bit, so if you guys could uh, also hit the like button too, that uh, helps out the channel tremendously as well. Oh, uh, you gotta go left. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, shoot for the left. This this area here is a little, a little rocky, but that's okay. As long as you stick to the path, you should be, you should be good to go. Now, now I think I'm going to go road. Or we're going to go nowhere at all. Get these rocks out of my way. Come on. All right, let's, uh, Try to winch ourselves through this and then grab the dairy. Oh, somehow he's stuck on a massive rock. Come on. Come on, winch. We need stronger winches in this game. There we go. Uh, I want to attach. Let's get the front of this vehicle facing the right direction. Back and forward. There we go. Okay, now we can attach and we can be back on our way. And oh, oh, oh. I gotta look forward too. <laughs> Alright, go straight through this mud puddle. I don't think it was that bad. Let's just say it could have been worse. We should get some helps in a second. Come on, there you go. This is this is another great reason to have two trucks. Um, yeah, because I probably would have been stuck there for a while. Luckily, there's uh, there's trees to winch to, so I, I would have been able to get myself out if I didn't have two trucks, but. You know what? It's, it always helps to have a buddy. Um, ideally, if I had another player, that would be even better. <laughs> if there was a... I don't know. Um, yeah, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't have to deal with things like this, where... Now i got to change the truck, because it wanted to turn. And I really wasn't paying attention to where it was going, so... Let's uh, back up a little bit. Change back. Oh, look at that. We're slightly stuck. Alright, so there's not a great tree, but what we can do is this, and this should get us through once I'm able to connect to it. There we go. Almost instantly, we get out, so... Yeah, teamwork makes the dream work, right? <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> if I remember correctly, there was an easy way to get around this. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go... I think it's to the right. 
Let's, uh... Yeah, let's see if we can get through. We'll just shoot for this gap here instead of trying to get back onto the trail. That, uh... I think we, uh... Hit that metal pile back there, but... And yeah, I'm not surprised the dairy is a little stuck, so let's go ahead and get this up the hill. <laughs> and then we'll come back and, and rescue the dairy. Alright, uh, that looks like a nice spot. Still change trucks from here. Let's go ahead and turn on all-wheel drive because that would be... Uh, that would be a great difference. <clears throat> okay, I hope you're not hearing that sniffling. I'm just kind of, I'm trying to do a test to see how much it uh, affects the microphone when I do. <laughs> uh, so hopefully you didn't hear any of that. It doesn't look like you should have, uh, but you never know. Depending on how good your headphones are, if you are listening through headphones. Uh, that's probably really the only way. Alright, uh, where are we? We gotta change trucks, we gotta hook back up, we gotta get back on the road. We gotta siphon through all these trees. We've got the flatbed with the crane, I gotta turn off the parking brake. That, that helps out quite a bit. Yep, the dairy's just gonna choose its own path. Hopefully it doesn't roll over. Alright, and we are almost to the gas station. <laughs> Which is, just happens to be a tanker in the middle of nowhere full of gas. I, uh, I almost wish I could find those in the real world. That would, that would be nice just to be able to fill up a full tank of gas and not have to pay for it. But fortunately that's not the way life works. I guess if you're a truck driver, that is kind of how the life works, because your company, if you work for a company, that is, pays for it. Alright, anyways. <clears throat> I'm going to have a quick sip of coffee, too, while we're here. Let's go ahead and refuel. We're going to refuel the vehicles. Whoops. There we go. And we're gonna refuel me. All right, let's continue on. Now, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna try to go this way. I don't think I've tried cutting through here before, so let's give it a shot. We don't have enough room to turn around, obviously. That's, that's usually the name of the game. But yeah, let's see, uh... Let's see if we can cut through here and see if this is a better option. Instead of having to drive all the way around. You never know, maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be, uh... There'll be stumps that we can see. That we can avoid and, uh... Ooh, that almost looked like a stump that I can't see. Um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and turn on the dairy behind us. That would uh, definitely help out a bit. All right, now it looks like it's just gonna be a slow crawl. I I will take that. Um. This would actually be another fun test if we if I had somebody else playing, uh, where I could have them take the other path and I could take this path, and you can kind of definitively see which one's faster. I think I think in the end this one is going to be. I think this one's going to be faster. I don't recall there being too much stuff in the way as far as obstacles. But 
it is a lot longer of a, a of a height, so. And we got through pretty, pretty free and clear, so. Heck, it might have even made more sense to, to stay on the left side of the poles and not uh, try to go over all these rocks. Oh, oh, especially when it starts doing that. Come on, there you go. Now, I was told that you can take this path down here. So I think I might, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. We're gonna, we're gonna live a little brave today and or stupid. But I was told that we can, uh, we can head down this way. and just follow the path of the ice. It uh, apparently is a little bit faster, probably a lot faster. So let's, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can do it. It looks like uh, we don't want to fall off the, the edge of the ice there. This looks a little tricky, but no, not too bad at all. Definitely would be in the uh, Zeeks. That would uh, that would be for sure. I don't I don't think you would be able to get through there on the Zeeks unless you attacked it at a highly high angle, which is what I should have technically done. Um, but I didn't. Can I squeeze through here? Um, we're gonna try. No, no, I don't think we can squeeze through there. After all that, we still have to go up and around, I guess. They they didn't really explain how you end up crossing the river. I think, yeah, we're just gonna go this way. We're gonna go the way the rocks make the truck go. I, I yeah, I have no control at this point. Not quite sure why we're not moving. We have a tree. Nope. Um, all right, let's back up. Come on, there we go. Okay, so this might be the uh, the difficult part. <laughs> let's uh, let's change trucks because I don't I don't want to send the dairy over. That would just be uh, that would just be my luck. That's that's about as close as I want to get. Let's go back this way. <laughs> we'll go up and around. Get you out of those rocks. Is that truck on? Thank you. Like, I didn't see the tires moving at all. Alright. We're, we're pulling this in a very unorthodox way, but... I think it's working pretty good. Look at this thing go, like... I feel like this is going better than it was going... In the watch McCall it. 
in the uh, in the Azov. So. All right, uh, do, do. we gotta go down and around, so I'm gonna actually let the, there we go, oh, there we go, we're gonna, we're gonna let the dairy take the lead. We do have to remember. Remind me, guys. Just yell really loud. I'm sure I'll hear it. Uh, remind me to get fuel when we pass the uh, the trailer store because we're uh, we're gonna need it. Come on, dig in. Little little bit of help. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to individually take the trucks across. I uh, I don't know why, for some reason I just feel like that's a smarter thing to do. This isn't the worst land crossing, or water crossing I guess, however you, however you want to describe it. Um, yeah, I think, it, I think the easiest thing to do is go around this way and then come up the road. Oh, I'm too far away now. Ah, I wish they would fix that. I wish they would make it so that if you can see the truck, you can switch to it. Heck, even if you couldn't see the truck, you should be able to just rotate your screen and have it highlight the trucks and then switch to it because it tells you what truck it is. Like, if I go to change trucks, it tells me that's the dairy. So even if it was on the other side of the map, I should be able to look in that direction and it would pop show up and say that's the dairy and then I can switch to it. But you can't for some reason. Um, you gotta go through the map. Anyways, uh, let's change trucks. I think we're... Yeah, we, sh we should be plenty far enough off that bridge. But let's, uh, let's take the ice. Now both of these trucks do have chains, so we don't uh, we don't really have to worry about the uh, road conditions. So that's pleasantly nice. Um. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Look at that. That's that's the correct way to go. No need to go up that hill. No need to fight through that snow. Just take the ice and you're good to go. And then there's a land slide. I think last time I just took this route. Just ran over this little pine tree. Get a little get a little help from the uh, the rocks there. The dairy or the uh, the Azov probably is going to have to go up, yep, up and over. I think I can just go straight over this pole. I'm pretty sure you can. Oh, yeah, you can. You sure do take a lot of damage. I don't know what's going on with the Azov, but it's doing this whole, like, lynching thing. Lynching? Is that it? Oh, no, no! Use! Really, truck? Seriously? Alright, well, well, we'll, we'll fix this. Come on, get back on. Actually, if the wheels are spinning, that means my engine's running, right? Yeah. We can just do this.
Come on. Come on. If you're just joining me now, I'm playing SnowRunner. I'm not playing any other game. Look, it looks a little suspicious, but uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's change back to the truck. Get the parking brake off. Let's get you attached. And all right, we're back on the uh, we're back on back on the road. This, this road right here is the reason why I go with uh, chain tires. At least one truck with chain tires, because, uh... Oh, that's right. So you guys didn't see me. The, uh, the first Zeke's that I had on this map uh, did not have chain tires on, and... It took me maybe 15 minutes to get up this hill, but I did it. Uh, you just have to ride this snow bank here and you can you just get enough grip to get up. Uh, but we don't have to do that because we have chains so we can just, you know, stay away from that edge. There were, there were so many times where I almost slid back and, and fell off. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, that was weird. It's like my all-wheel drive disconnected or something. <laughs> it, uh... For some reason, must have just been perfect timing. So now we have the equivalent of a uh, 18 wheeler. Yeah, this truck has 10. No, I can't count. Jeez, this truck has eight, and that has eight. I have a 16 wheeler. Wow, I'm sitting there looking at those wheels like, yeah, I've, 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 I have 10 wheels there. There's no, there's only four there, so that would make eight. Uh, anyways, never mind. I'll cut that out or something. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's move on from that, uh, bad bit of mathematical, um, calculation by me. Alright, we're getting close to the trailer store, so we can get some fuel. We, we actually have a good amount of fuel left, so... Uh, this here, let's just take it a little slow so we don't incur, incur too much damage. Incur? Incur too much damage. Weave through here, let's bobble, let's do all this fun stuff. Uh, I think we can shoot right through this. I guess, ugh. It's getting hold so hard to remember all these little things. I think once you break the ice through here, it's not it's not too hard to get through here. And with the as off pushing from behind. Or not pushing from behind. Again, if you just join me, this is not what it looks like. Uh, we are just stuck in the mud. Let's detach. We'll attach to that telephone pole. And we'll uh, we'll get out of this this sticky mess. As off, if you tip over one more time. Okay, good. Come on, let's get up a little bit higher out of this mud before we reconnect. Throw our diff on so that uh, hopefully don't have some sliding tire. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't too bad, was it? It 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 was a little harder than I thought it was going to be, but that's alright. Okay, I'm I'm gonna say that's AAA. That, uh, that area in there looks like AAA. That's how I would translate it. <laughs> I 
And we have a scout trailer here, so let's uh, not use that one because, well, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be empty. I guess we could use it because we'll we'll need a scout vehicle here anyways to return it. Uh, we need a big. Ooh, I can get a big trailer. Oh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. 900, almost a thousand gallons. Buy. For six thousand dollars. Um. Although, do I? I don't really need it. To tell you the truth. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, refuel this truck. I, I really didn't need a, a tractor trailer this big. <laughs> once we get um, once we get the garage open, we won't need fuel on this side. So we'll uh, yeah, we'll just back this up to the road so the Azov can uh, can do its refueling. And then we will get underway. Alright, so it took over half the episode just to get to the point where we can start on finishing repairing the power line. So this tells you a, a little bit how difficult um, these maps are becoming. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt this all by myself. And we're gonna see. We're gonna see how that goes. Uh, whoops. Okay. Come on, no runner. Thank you. That was weird. And uh, yeah, this here is actually. I remember this is actually pretty tough to get through for some reason. Like if that telephone pole wasn't there. We would, uh, we would definitely be stuck here all the time. And to tell you the truth, we kind of are stuck here now. What is going on? What is going on with this area? And why is my computer lagging? Computer, you're not supposed to be lagging. According, according to, whatchamacallit. OBS, my PC is running at 2%. Um, yeah, we're already stuck trying to get through here. I think they made this extra hard. Because there's, there's no reason this should be this hard for us to get through. Alright, you know what? Derry, you're coming with me. And you know what? We're bringing the fuel with us. We might have to drop it off, but we're definitely bringing it with us. Yay, let's... I did, I did that pretty well, I'd, I'd have to say. I didn't hit any of the rocks, I barely touched the other trailer. Let's see if I can't push this through. Alright, let's uh, change trucks. We're going to attach the winch. Why am I, why am I lagging so much? What is going on? Really? I can't even move? Is there a, is there a better way to get around this? So we never have to do this again? Do I have a, I don't really have a truck. That one's dead. Well, it's not dead, but it has no fuel. Not to mention, it's a scout vehicle, so it's not going to go anywhere. 
Um, are you kidding me? Yeah, like this at even my <clears throat> Let's uh detach trailer. I hope uh, that's that's now in the way, so that was smart of me. Uh but let's Come on, like what? I think the developers put super glue here or something. Alright, first of all, let's skip to morning. That's only slightly better. Let's also change trucks. I do not remember it being this hard to get through here. Oh, looks like the dairy wants to roll over. All right, all right, this is. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, See if we can't get this attached. Yeah. Okay. Now we can use the back of this trailer to release us from our hell that we're in. Hopefully. Maybe. That's Can't pick that point. I finally get the point I want, and it detaches. No, that was a little too much. Try that again. Uh, no, not detached trailer. Thank you for reattaching. Um, okay. Let's start going in reverse. There we go. There we go. That's how you get the truck out. Okay, let's get this Azov out. We're gonna hit that and probably not move from there. Uh, let's change trucks and see if we can't get... We have nothing to, to grab on, do we? <laughs> Alright, we will get through this, I promise. This is, uh, this is kind of ridiculous. So if I go ahead and attach the winch to the back of this truck, now I can pull and turn the front of the truck. There we go. Okay, and... 
Uh, if I change back to my dairy, let's turn that off. I'm going to leave the dairy where it is. I think we're okay. Let's get, let's get moving. That was, uh, that was preposterous. <clears throat> that was absolutely insane. That should not have been that hard to get through, so. Uh, and last time I found this shortcut, so we can bypass that ditch there too. Because that ditch was actually worse than the other ditch for the other truck. But we're just going to go up and around everything, because that's, that's how you do it. Okay, now. I was going to... Yeah, let's take the ice. Hopefully we'll get down here and we'll have a, a nice little path to take on the ice. We will have to avoid the blue ice, or the breakable ice, but that should be... That should be a nightmare. We have a little rock path there that we could take. Um, I've actually never come down this way, so as you guys can see. I, I honestly think if we take... This little rock path, get to the other side. I think I can take this shoreline. I hope this goes through. It looks like it, it, it's a little land bridge. Yep. Perfect. Uh, we are going directly into the sun, so I can't see anything. So we will definitely stay close to shore. I really hope you guys can't hear that. <laughs> oh, it's that lovely time of the year where everyone's sick. All right, a uh, little bit of damage. That's that's fine. I can live with that. Where's the road? Oh, I guess the road. Yeah, I guess we'll just drive to that point. Somewhere in there. Although I'm not gonna lie, it looks like we should be able to scoot right up between these rocks. So maybe let's let's scope it out and see. Um, yeah, those are bushes. Let's let's go for it. that one. Grip. We have no winch points, which is not great. Can we grip it? Yes, we can. There we go. Now we can winch up. Perfect. Up and over that rock just for fun. For funsies. And let's see, where can we go from here? Looks like we can just accidentally blow that fence over. I swear it was it was knocked down before I got here. All right, here we go. We are finally at the lumber place. Let's uh, knock that over. All we need is one. That's all we need. Uh, now. I was debating, I think if we take this path here, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go ahead and let's go do that route. Let's turn through here. Oh, there's a telephone pole. Those always get you hung up. Let's see if we can just go up and over it. Yeah, yeah, we seem to be okay. Um, where's the road? 
Oh, I've already passed the road. What? All right. Well, let's uh, let's back it up. I think the road is here. So, yeah, follow the telephone line, right? And that scout trailer. I don't know what's going on with that. It didn't give me points the last time I saw it. I definitely got close enough to it that time. So maybe it just. Maybe it glitched through, or it's a, uh, a mission. But what's not a mission is fixing this bridge, so... I have a feeling. Uh, we go down this way. Why am I going? No, no, no. Let's be smart about this. Let's go down this way. Whoops. A little bit of damage never hurt anyone. Alright, we can, we can fly through here. Can we cross? I don't think we can. That looks all breakable. I'm not gonna lie, that looks like it would... It looks like a very small amount of breakable ice. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Uh, why am I doing this? Let's just get some speed. Come on. Yeah, there we go, we're through. Perfect. Alright, so those are your two crossing points. No, I think we'll take the ice still. We could get up that way, but let's take the ice. <laughs> I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna attempt to do this whole map. Or the not the whole map. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna keep this episode going until we get this this done. And prove that the uh, the garage will now be open after this is done. Oh look at this, some cable. I wonder if we'll have to come get that. I doubt it. I think I pop up here somewhere. There's the land bridge we crossed, so I should be able to see our tire marks. There they are. Did not see that giant rock though, so go figure. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. We're back on a, we'll call it a trail, not really a road. We will just throw it in low plus and slowly crawl up this hill. That's the point at which we have to drop down. Let's pause for a second. Think about this route. Yes. Yeah, we want to go this way. Uh, no, we don't want to go through there. We want to go around this way. We want to take the easy route. I don't know if there's a better route to take than going between those rocks. It's funny because the the Zeeks went through that pretty much with no problem. It was a little tough for it, but it wasn't as bad as it was trying to get this thing through just now. So I'm, I'm tempted to try to squeeze through here. Oh, we almost made it. Oh, 
Come on. There we go. I don't think this is going to be a better way through. It may be though. We can take out, yeah, we can take out the whole line of these pines right here. Well, look at that. That may be a better route through. There might be a better uh, route than going next to those rocks, but we'll see. Uh, let's definitely, before we go too far, let's fill up. Gives us another third of a tank, so it's definitely worth it. Hey, okay, here we go. Final stretch. Final stretch. We should be golden. We've got a snorkel on this thing, so who cares how deep it gets? Um. Oh, that would that would help. Where's my winch point? Am I? St oh, I'm kind of stuck on my winch point. All right, let's back up. Let's uh, let's attempt to do the rock instead. Come on. All right. Well, we're not getting out now. How did... How did we get stuck already? That's, that's not a great sign. There's a lot of winch points. There we go. <clears throat> Seriously? Seriously? not looking too good all right let's let's try to take that land let's see if this route's any better oh is can't see stumps and things and there's a lot of them come on through there, okay. We're making progress. That's good. Okay, stick to the rocks. That we can just run over. That we can just run over. All right. So that's that's the path you want to take through there. <laughs> you guys were wondering. That's that's the path. Um. Okay, now this is all foreign country? No, this is all unfamiliar territory. That's that's the saying I wanted to say. Um, now hopefully there are plenty of winch points because we're gonna need it. And I I guess I kind of have to take back what I said about the ads off. I believe it was in the last episode where I said this truck is literally just point and shoot. Yeah, well, it was in Michigan and in Alaska and in every other uh, region, but it is it is no longer that point and shoot. In fact, what am I stuck on? There we go. Oh, this this looks like fun. All right, let's do it. Oh, 104 damage to my suspension just instantly. 
Okay, I can't fit through here. I have two winch points through here. I'm not even at the hard part. Come on. Come on. I don't know why it's not pulling me over. Even that should be pulling me over. Yeah, I don't see why I'm not moving. There we go. Alright, well... Maybe it will get easier? This, uh... I'm not gonna lie, this does not look like <laughs> it's a trail I should be going down. There's my fat fingers hitting more than one button. Come on, just, just weasel your way through. That's definitely not the way we're coming back. Um, in fact, we're not coming back at all. Once I drop this load off, we are... Okay, we're through the canyon. I hope we never have to do that again. If we do, we're doing it with this truck. Because <laughs> I don't think there's another truck that can fit through there that's not a scout. And there's even a couple scouts that won't fit through. Okay. This looks like nothing. I do want to? I do want to go check it out real quick. Just make sure there's no hidden task or anything around here. Oops. Um. Sorry. Okay. So there's nothing there. That's good. Oh, that doesn't mean that it won't be something sooner or later. Yeah, we should just be able to uh, cross here and go up this hill. This is definitely one of those, oh, you need chain tires. And hopefully, chain tires will do it. <laughs> we do have a tree to winch onto, but let's, let's attempt it without first. Oh, we're up here and we made it. Whew, you know what? That didn't take too much longer than uh, than a full hour. So, wow, that was uh, that was quite impressive. Uh, there is something down there. I believe it's a task. That might be something we want to do if we're here. Uh, but yeah, let's let's drop off this cargo and get that done. And there you can see it. We've got oh wow, that's a that's a nice round number we have there. <laughs> we have one million two hundred twenty-two thousand two hundred twenty-one dollars, which is the same forward as it is backwards. But guess what, guys? Uh, with that, we have the garage. It is now open. Uh, where is it? <laughs> Way over here. No, it's right here. Yeah, I'm staring right at it. There it is. Um. It did open up another task, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, the million dollar question is, is floating change house. The floating change house. Let's see, do we have that? We don't. I can tell you we're not hauling that back through this way. Uh, can we haul it through that way? Maybe. 
maybe uh, we do have a vehicle there, which we do have to go figure out. Let's uh, let's head down into the river. It doesn't doesn't look that deep. I kind of just want to yeet myself off the uh, the cliff there and see what happens, but knowing the road we just came on, I I don't want to do that again. So let's go the sensible route. And uh, yeah, we will we will go check this out real quick. We'll see if we can load it load it up onto the flatbed, and then we'll uh, we'll probably end the episode there. Come on, nice easy slide. Didn't even really need to use the brakes, but I, you know, whatever I did. Um. Can we cut through here? I can see the bottom. Does it get super deep? I think it does get super deep. You know what, something's telling me not to go that route because... Oh no. Now we're stuck. Oh, why, oh, why did I go this route? Come on, what am I stuck on? Can't go forward. Can't get the camera in the water. Oh, are you kidding me? Did I actually, actually screw this up by going this way? Come on, there's a rock that shifted. I feel like I'm just sinking. Seriously? Alright, well we're going forward. No, it looks pretty sh it doesn't look like it gets any deeper. It is hard to see though. There we go. Um, oh, oh, somehow I'm moving that cargo container. What the? Why are you drifting away? You're moving faster than I am. Okay, let's keep that from going down the stream, I guess. No, oh, it's still floating down the stream. Oh, that's why this is a uh, this is a slider. All right, so this is something you have to drag. Uh, let's try... Let's try to throw it on the trailer. I don't think it will. But we can try it. I don't think it will strap down. That's, that's what I remember from the last time I had to do one of these. Can pick it up though. Um. Uh oh, for some reason my controls aren't cooperating. There we go. Come on. Yeah, I got a feeling that won't act. Okay. That's fine. Let's restore anchor. Restore the crane. We're going to attach the winch there and we'll just, we'll just pull it. It's fine. Um, now, the million dollar question is 
That's the floating change house. Where is the task for it? Trailer. I don't know why it keeps going to the lost trailer. The floating change house is way over here. Um, we do have a truck over here. We could try. Uh, what is in our way? We have we have a landslide in our way, don't we? Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's see if we can get around it. Uh, if we can get around it, we might be okay. Now, I do have mud tires on this piece, so... We shouldn't have issues with, uh... Oh, never mind. There's a whole thing of ice right here. Oh, 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 good save. Um, wow. That was a, a crazy, crazy save there. Oh, I want I want the bigger trees. Oh, there we go. Let's get this thing to turn. There we go. Okay, that's the Mount Landslide. So, I think we actually had this selected. Yeah, we gotta come over here. Look at all this terrain we have to... Oh, we gotta... We, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We can do it. We can do it. We have to do it. Uh, now, the million dollar question is, how do we get across that ice? I think we just go for it. I think we just go for it. Um, yeah, I can't I can attach the winch there. Can I get us to where we... Oh, good. It just... We got it. We got it. We're good. We're good. Yeah, look at how slippery this is. Come on, get me up to those rough... There we go. We'll use four-wheel drive to get us up and through. All I, all I want to do is start this task of this uh, floating change house and then we can see where it needs to go before I set off. Because this is not a map you want to haul it to one spot to find out that it's got to go in the complete opposite direction. Alright. Um, yeah, we gotta go this way. And I am I am running a bit long, but that's a okay. I don't I don't mind. You gotta you gotta end the episode in, in a good movie, right? Come on. Thank you. I have a bit of a snorkel on this. The the air intake's on top of the roof, so we should be able to traverse deeper water. But this looks pretty basic through here. I feel like this truck needs to be part of a, a train. So maybe this and the dairy. Those two vehicles would technically make this whole thing unstoppable. Um, Cause this can go through pretty much anything as far as mud and snow. Uh, and the dairy has the chains so it can handle the ice. We did get that trailer, so that's good. 
have pretty much a, a huge tank of gas in this thing, plus extra. Let's accept this floating change house so we can start track it and figure out where we need to go. Alright, where are we? We are there, and look at that. Would you look at that? Um, we gotta drop it off to the ice camp. So we pretty much just have to drag it down this this river. Um, so let's go ahead and change trucks. Hello. Let's go back to the Zeeks. Let's, let's shut it off. I don't know if it shuts off after a certain amount of time. Or what. But uh, we will end the episode there. We aren't jumping directly to the garage yet, but uh, we will. We will uh, hopefully after we drag this and complete this task. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was it had its ups and its downs, and it ran a little long. But as long as you guys enjoyed it, I enjoyed making it. So as long as as long as you guys enjoyed watching it, that's all that matters. So uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.